So welcome to Tarun IS. My name is Rohit Kumar. So today I am going to discuss the 22nd September, the current affair, which is taken from the Hindu and Indian Express. It is a completely based on, or it's a completely on the base of the prelims or mains exam. So let's start the first news. The first news it's related to China's. What is that? It's a China say that put patriotisms for China tells it's a Muslim citizens. It's a news of the Hindu and uh, you can quote as a relevance to effect of policies and po politics developed and developing countries in the India interest. There is a one minority groups in China. It's a Muslim minority groups and which is always facing the problem with the China. Human Rights Commission always be argue or proclaim that China is not doing good to that uh, minority group. So that minority group it's a so here simply China see that ki China asked China has asked the country's Islamic Association and the Muslim communities simply that you should maintain to patriotisms in the countries. Simply it say that. So what is the news here? Simply it's a news. China has asked the countries to all the Islamic groups where which already be present in China's and the Muslim communities to maintain a correct political agenda or political directions and simply to uphold the banner of pat patriotisms. So you should maintain your patriotis patriotisms here. What is the background? Let me here see. The statement was given to after a report released by United Nations High Commissions of Human Rights. United Nations High Commissions of Human Rights always say that ki this minority group in Western Jiangjing regions of China minority groups name is a Uyghurs Muslims minority. Uyghur Muslim minority in the China. So it said that China committed a serious human rights violations always against to these Muslim groups. So maybe these Muslim groups will come in your exam. It will become a, a Indian polity or you can, it's, it will become a simply a prelims questions also. So here always we claim by Human Rights Commission that China has always be threatening, threatening the Uyghur Muslims minority in the Western Jiangin region. And here most of the Muslim countries and organization of Islamic cooperation has a kept to silence of this statement. This statement is given by Human Rights Commission here. So simply China say that he don't worry, no need to do anything. I will consider as a citizenship here. So China has asked to countries to Islamic association and all the Muslim communities to always favor to that minority groups here that to maintain a correct political directions and simply a banner of patriotisms here. So this is all about the maybe in your prelims exam will come to what is the organizations of Islamic cooperation OIC and what is United Nations Human Rights Commission for Human Rights. Human Rights. So this will come in your paper exam or maybe I think this this always minority groups always be asked in your paper. Okay, so move on to another news. Next news it's a it's a home ministries simply. So what is this simply uh, in 2018 yeah you can say that three police medals uh, to be a uh, discontinued, yeah, disbanded, you can also be. So, three police medals to be discontinued. This news is taken from the Hindu and the government policy or intervention. You can't. So, what is new? News say that Union Home Ministry, Union Home Ministry uh, Amit Shah, Sri Amit Shah, just recently discontinued three police medal to uh, instituted in uh, 2018. So maybe this police medal will come in your paper. Okay, what is that police medal which is banned or discontinued by the home ministry? So this police model, you can say the police 
आंतरिक सुरक्षा सेवा पदक जम्मू स्टेट जम्मू कश्मीर स्टेट और इट्स रीजन एल डब्ल्यू रीजन एंड नॉर्थ ईस्ट रीजन नॉर्थ ओके एंड द उत्कृष्ट सेवा पदक एंड अति उत्कृष्ट सेवा पदक देर आर थ्री पदक हेयर देर आर थ्री टाइप ऑफ मेडल विच हैज डिसकंटिन्यू बाय होम मिनिस्ट्री सो दिस इज आल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मे बी इट विल बिकम नेक्स्ट न्यूज इट्स अ नेक्स्ट न्यूज रिलेटेड टू सुप्रीम कोर्ट सुप्रीम कोर्ट जस्ट कंडेम्ड हेट स्पीच एयर्ड ऑन टीवी यू ऑलरेडी बी नो नावडेज टीवी एंकर ऑलवेज ट्राई टू स्प्रेड सिंपली यू कैन से दैट इट्स एनिमिटी बिटवीन अ कॉमिनल एनिमिटी यू कैन से लाइक दैट हिंदू मुस्लिम हिंदू सिख सच टाइप ऑफ द थिंग्स ऑलवेज वी आर स्प्रेड ऑन द टीवी न्यूज और मीडिया ऑन द बेस we already we know that media work as a fourth pillar of democracy but here you can't be see that ki where is the fourth pillar it means sometime we feel in the country that ki there is no fourth pillar in our country so here supreme court condemned that hate speech to air on the tv and supreme court just flag that ki tv channel chief medium of the hate speech or me lay down to guideline guideline Uh, or look down to the guideline it's a indian express line. so simply a, a structure organization functioning that can so here in the news say that supreme court recently said a role of tv anchor role of tv anchor critical in monitoring that they are so do not do not up descended to into the flurry of the hate speech you are the anchor you have to show a reality of the society you have to show what is happening in the country you have to show that what is right and what is wrong but when you will just spread you will just advertise as a hate speech a speech as a you uh, you can say that enmity between hindu or muslim or minority so this is a a critical concern for the our country ki where is a fourth pillar of uh, uh, democracy here so simply a bench led by justice kem joseph said we cannot give a hate any year on the tv and the past ruling also in january 2021 the then chief justice of ac bobde said that arresting hate on tv was essential for the law and order so this is a very important for our democracy also very important for the people of country very important for constitution also so now move on to another news it this news is a very important for the bihar it's the gs third taken from the indian express and the hindu also so what this you already know about the naxal or maowadi Maowadi words comes from the China. There was a leader. It's a Maoism. Sometimes it's a called. It's a communist, not communist, but Maoism. So Bihar nowadays free of Naxal presence. That statement is given by CRPF chief, Central Reserve Police Force chief here. So this is a very important here, and the, this news can become as a relevance of challenges to a internal security. internal security we start challenges of the internal security so what is news news is simply that the central reserve police force it means a crpf chief uh, recently announced uh, say or uh, recently you can say that uh, bihar was a uh, free of left wing extremism so bihar was a uh, free of left wing ext extremism now security force can now to access area in jharkhand or inflicted in maoist it means it means simply that there is no pers- uh, presence of maoisms in bihar it means bah- bihar is a free of left wing extremisms so here this is the very important for bihar but point is that crpf chief is saying that day by day it's a decreasing day by day it's a decreasing decrease the violence so crp said that the fight was it's a final stage now it's a fight was a final stage because the number the number of district that time affected by violence stood to 
now it's a 39 down from the 16 2010 so when it was in the 2008 it was a 16 district but now it's a day by day it's a decreasing it's a downing and the, you can see here the number of the most affected district in india it's not in bihar 90 percent of the violence incident had reduced from 35 it's reduced from 35 it means a 35 it was in 2015 but now it's a 25 in 2021 it's a 25 district and this district is not this this districts are mostly in chhattisgarh jharkhand odisha maharashtra telangana and andhra pradesh but bihar is a free from moist here so what is a you can see also this is a very important maybe it will be come in your paper because uh, a government started, uh, a state started, CRP started the some various operations to eliminate the moist from uh, our country. So success was achieved in 2022 in the Bihar, Jharkhand and Chhattisgarh through the operations of octopus, operations of double bull, operations of thunderstorm and operations of chakrabandh. So chakrabandh in the three states especially in these three state what it's a bihar jharkhand and chhattisgarh this operation on the base of the this operations lot of the arrest or surrender of the 509 moist so this is a very very important for and this type of the operations always become in your paper it will be so you have to focus about this that thunder up thunderbolt operations so what is octopus and all these things so now move on another news this news is related to isro's so isro isro you already we know indian space research organizations here so isro successfully tested a hybrid propulsion system so what is a hybrid propulsion system it will be maybe this question will come in your paper and this is related to its relevance of achievement of indians in science indian in science and technology so what is the important news, news is here isro recently recently said that a, it's a successfully demonstrated a hybrid propulsion system so what is a hybrid propulsion system hybrid propulsion system it's a mixer or hybrid of solid fuel and simply a liquid oxidizer so solid fuel and liquid oxidizer liquid oxide oxidizer it's called to the hybrid propulsion system and it's a successful what is a high oxidizer so oxidizer simply it's a flight equivalent of three kilo newton hybrid motor used stpb based hydroxylic terminated polybutenide aluminized solid fuel and the liquid oxygen alox and all these things you mixed and it will become to oxidizer so oxidizer plus solid fuel it's became to become to the hybrid propulsion system and it is a very very ecosystems also so let's here see perform in 15 second and 300 millimeter sounding rocket here so what is about to hybrid propulsion system more efficient greener and the safer to handle and the paved way to new propulsion technology and the future missions tested with the support from liquid propulsion system and cryogenic and all these things about to this so isro, isro successfully tested hybrid propulsion system. so this is all about so in the exam can ask the hybrid propulsion system isro this type of the questions always we ask in the paper so this is all about the news which was uh, taken from the hindu and indian express so if you want to watch a uh, multiple choice question the, on the base of this news on the base of this current affair just press a i button and you can watch also in a playlist also so for the today thank you very much for today we will meet in another video thank you S just subscribe this channel and uh, press the bell icon also so thank you very much